Day 2004, at 7.58 a.m., an earthquake of 9.1 magnitude struck beneath the Indian Ocean, quick, quick. triggering one of the biggest tsunamis in recorded history. That wave oh is a good God. 15, 20 feet tall. Waves flattened coastal towns across Southeast Asia. Within 24 hours, the tsunami had claimed over a quarter of a million lives, including those of 149 Brits. I'm Dr. Zand Van Tulliken, and as a medic, I've witnessed many disasters firsthand. To make sense of what happened in this one, I'm following the progress of the devastating wave minute by minute. I'll be meeting those who were there, to piece together exactly what happened. As the water came, it was basically consuming everything in its path. It literally looked like a, a nuclear bomb had gone off. I'm Raksha Dave, and I'll be investigating why the earthquake and tsunami were so destructive. Whoa! Masses of material. There's like cars and bits of wood. I'm not sure how people would survive in this. That Hollywood image of the huge wall of water yeah. crashing down, often not the reality. In this episode, we'll follow the disaster over the first critical 90 minutes. As the tsunami hit Indonesia... I get the first hit of the water, and all the car behind me just like a bam. And then Thailand. It was buildings being smacked up into the air, it was... 30-foot palm trees, you know, being snapped and splintered. This is the tragic story of the Boxing Day tsunami. For me, Christmas 2004 was pretty much like any other. As far as I recall, I did a Christmas Day shift here at King's College Hospital, where I was working at the time, and then I went home for a Christmas dinner with my family. Amazingly, I do still have my ID badge from that job. A younger, thinner me. But as I was finishing my shift, 7,000.